taking a look, like I said, at the Astro AI multimeter. That's one of the first products here. So like I said, this is kind of an entry level multimeter. So this is uh, their digital multimeter. It's gonna come with the standard probes that you see. It's pretty straightforward. It's gonna have a user manual and that's it. Three pieces come in the box. There is no carrying case like some of the other ones have. So, you know, I recommend having a multimeter almost in every vehicle if you're a nerd like me. Um, and have it definitely in your workshop. I have multiple multimeters. Uh, this one is absolutely brand new, so I am going to peel the cover off. I did test it out just a little bit earlier, and you can see it has a liquid crystal display. Now, it's going to be backlit, so when I turn it on, the batteries come with it right out of the, the gate. So there's nothing to do, but if you ever do need to change the battery here, looks like it's two AAA batteries here. So you can take that screw out and you can do it. It has this kind of outside shell that normally would be rubberized on a lot of these. It feels a little bit more plasticky, but you know, at the price here, I honestly don't mind. Uh, if we want to backlight, I just hit that button and now you can see those characters a lot easier here. We're going to take the probes and again, somebody got me in trouble the other day. They said, uh, that's, you know, the standard, you know, probe connections. That's not fluke. Well, yeah, I, everybody knows them <laughs> that way. So these are standard probe connections, which is nice because you can use these with other multimeters or you can upgrade them to different styles. You can have alligator clips and stuff. So they have one rating when they have the covers on here so you can work with high voltage. They have another rating if you pull these little covers off because they're worried about arc uh, and if you would have an arc across these. Entry level, it's in the carousel right now. It's gonna have some basic functions, AC, DC voltage. It's gonna have continuity. It's gonna have diode checking all the basics that you're gonna want. But one thing that, that threw me here is if you look at this dial, that's where you select it. It doesn't have a direct DC on here. I actually had to go over to one of these. And what's interesting about that is it's 1.5 volts or nine volts or 12 volts. So what I've done is I've gotten a couple of batteries out here and I haven't even tested these yet, but the, what I was saying about this 1.5, nine and 12, those are your most common voltage tests. You're gonna test for uh, voltage that way and check this out so I can take it on both sides and as soon as I touch it there's that green light now it's 1.38 which is actually pretty low but you can see how it's got that green versus red light up at the top so if I said that this was a 9 volt battery you'll see this right away see that red light that shows on the top of the meter so it's saying it's way under volts for a 9 volt battery so it's actually kind of a convenient feature if you think about it, so you're going, okay, I'm gonna go right to test batteries. So that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna test a nine volt or with most car stuff, I'm gonna test 12, right? So you can check and up to way under for 12. So that's just one feature. A couple other cool buttons I wanna familiarize you with. Now, I don't need these probes for this, but check this out. So I can turn the screen on and off, but if I long press on it, that's a built-in flashlight. <laughs> Look at that. So again, this can be kind of cool if you're trying to trace an electrical problem, maybe you're doing some vehicle work and you want to trace along something and it's dark, you can do that. Maybe you've got a power outage or you're tracing some wires and you have a circuit turned off, you can come through and look at that. Another thing which I never see at this price range is a non-contact voltmeter. So right here on the top, it's gonna to have this little tiny uh, hexagon, I guess you would say. I'm going to switch this all the way to the right. That's live NCV mode. But as I get closer now, and now it's not going to do it. See when it's live, but let me grab <laughs> a power source. What this can do is it finds live line voltage. Now you can see what's doing there. See that green light. It's so sensitive. It would literally go on to that. See how it says H for high and a red light. Now it's green for low. So it's, it can detect stray current that's on a line. So this is plugged in, means that this is live. Now I can do the same thing by just coming up to any old outlet and I can point to it. So I know that that circuit's still on. Maybe you're doing some work on a uh, overhead lamp, maybe installing a new lamp. These things are amazing because you can just put it up there and you'll know if you have current available um, and not to electrocute yourself, which is always important. So that's another cool feature of the Astro AI digital multimeter. It's got all the standard functions that you would expect. It does have a speaker built in. It also has amperage measurement. So if you need to see how much stuff is drawing and continuity measurement, maybe you're into doing networking, electronics, other stuff, just touching these together 
try to get this as close as I can to the mic. So you're going to get that sound, and that sound says that you have continuity. It's also an ohms reading that you're going to get, so zero ohms, which you'd expect. So this is from the Astro AI company. Again, very good starter multimeter. Um, I've seen a lot of really cheap multimeters that, you know, have analog screens, which are hard to read uh, and other issues with them. This is a digital multimeter. It's going to have the automatic power off, auto ranging, NCV, all of the great uh, things that you'd want about it. I'm just going to take a look real quick. Three samples per second. It's got uh, a 3999 digital display that says um, and operating temperature is going to be from freezing to 104 degrees. So there you go.